How's it going everyone? Today I'm here with my WWE SummerSlam 2017 pay-per-view predictions. Of course, SummerSlam is live on the WWE Network as well as pay-per-view tomorrow night. And overall, to be perfectly honest, you know, I want to say I'm excited, but I'm not really excited because even though there are some big caliber matches, I'm not really excited for them. Like, in a sense, I am excited, but for the most part, I'm not, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure if that makes any sense at all, but I'm excited, but I'm not excited at the same time. I don't know. It's, it's a weird feeling. I'm kind of conflicted how I feel about the pay-per-view. On paper, I think it looks good. I think, you know, we should, we're we in for a pretty good show for the most part. Honestly, I don't think anything on the show really says it's going to be bad. I feel like the matches will be, you know, good to great. I really don't see anything r that wrong with the card, but I don't know. The build hasn't been the greatest. You know, the Raws and SmackDown Lives leading to it haven't been, you know, they haven't been bad, but they haven't been intriguing. They haven't made me excited for the show, uh, especially this past, you know, week. I don't know what the hell they're thinking about giving away all these SummerSlam matches on TV and still doing them on pay-per-view. Makes That made no sense to me, but... I don't know. Uh, kind of mixed feelings going to SummerSlam, especially considering the fact that it's going to be like a six-hour show, of course. It's going to be a four-hour pay-per-view, four-plus four hours, four I should say, because I'll probably go over the four-hour uh, four time limit. Or not time limit, but, you know, four-hour mark. And, of course, we'll have the two-hour kickoff show, two hours prior to the pay-per-view. So it's going to be an overall six-hour show. Lovely. Thirteen matches, six-plus hours. Awesome. Not to mention, tonight, we still have TakeOver Brooklyn tonight. So... Man, and then <laughs> take over Brooklyn tonight, SummerSlam tomorrow, Raw on Monday, SmackDown Live on Tuesday. Oh man, it's just going to be wrestling overload the next four days. It's not going to be very fun. Uh, God, hopefully everything delivers to be fun because if it's all bad, it's not going to be it's not going to be a good time. But yeah, this is, this is about SummerSlam though. But let's not get into the other shows. It's, this is just solely about SummerSlam. Of course, like I said, 13 matches spread on the show. Of course, three matches will be on the kickoff show. Two of them, of course, being championship matches. So, um, you know, the matches on the kickoff show are pretty solid. You know, the SmackDown Tag Team Title match, which was a match of the night on the last SmackDown Live pay-per-view battleground. So, um, that's something to look forward to. You know, Tazawa and Neville, we've seen a thousand times by now. And, of course, you know, we have a six-man tag team match uh, featuring the Hardy Boys that we just saw on Monday Night Raw this past Monday. So, not really any excitement going to that match. So, um, those three matches shouldn't be bad, but just, you know... Nothing really intriguing. Uh, the, the tag team title match is probably the match to see on there anyway. So um, that'll be worth watching. On the main show, we do have 10 matches. Yes, 10 matches. Rain Yorn taking on Rusev. We have Naomi defending your title, uh, SmackDown Women's title against Natalya. Uh, we we're, were supposed to be getting uh, Alexa Bliss defending her Raw Women's Championship against Bayley. But of course, Bayley got injured the shoulder injury and Sasha Banks filled her spot up to replace her. So she's now challenging uh, Alexa Bliss for the, women's, the Raw Women's title instead of Bayley. So, which I'm actually, you know, be, I'm actually glad about. Uh, not glad that Bailey got injured, but honestly, on paper, Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss is a better matchup than uh, Alexa Bliss and uh, Bailey. So, I'm not really going to complain about that matchup being changed in that one. Uh, we'll be having uh, the Raw Tag Team titles being defended, Cesaro and Sheamus taking on Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Um, that's something to look forward to. It can go several different ways. So, um, that's one of the matches I'm looking forward to the most. That should be an intriguing matchup right there. Uh, John Cena taking on Baron Corbin. Um, really just a Really interested to see how Barry Corbin does, considering the fact that what happened to him this past Tuesday on SmackDown Live. Um, hopefully, this really adds feel to him, and he definitely shows a more aggressive side in this match against John Cena, because he definitely needs to do that. Uh, AJ Styles and Kevin Owens once again for the United States Championship, but this time with Shane McMahon as a special referee. Um, you know, their match has been disappointed, so hopefully they can deliver the, the match that they haven't, been deliver, they haven't been able to deliver just yet. Um, hopefully, it's a great match, and I think Shane's there just to solely, solely uh, set up a feud with uh, Kevin Owens, so... That's why I think Shane McMahon's referee there, if you ask me. Uh, we'll be having Big Cass taking on the Big Show with Enzo Amore suspended above the ring in a shark cage. I don't know what their obsession is with the shark cage now. This is the third time they've done it in a year. I don't know what the thing is, but it doesn't really accomplish anything. And, you know, Enzo Amore being up there, I don't think anyone really cares about Enzo. So, I mean, the match itself should be whatever, but, eh, I, eh, whatever. Uh, Finn Balor bringing out his demon to take on Bray Wyatt. You know, this match happened on Raw this past Monday, and it was good. But uh, this time, uh, Finn Balor's taking the demon. He's bringing the demon out, and he's going to face Finn, uh, Bray Wyatt with the demon. So it's been a year since we've seen the demon, so I'm excited to see him back at least. But, um, you know, I wish it was uh, in a better circumstance because I feel like, you know, Finn Balor should bring that demon out for a big, viable opponent, not just, you know, like a Bray Wyatt because to me, Bray Wyatt isn't a threat. So... I don't know. Um, I don't. I, I'm glad he's bringing the demon out, but I'm not glad the reason why he's bringing it out or who he's bringing it out against. So, you know, what can you do there? Uh, Jinder Mahal defending the WWE Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, a matchup that I wasn't, you know, expecting to happen, but I'm very glad it is. 
Um, this is the push Shinsuke Nakamura needs. You know, for you know the first month or two when he was on SmackDown Live, everyone was just questioning why they're doing nothing with him. But now he's in the main event scene. He's in the WWE title match at SummerSlam. You know, besides WrestleMania, that's the second biggest thing you can get is a WWE title match at SummerSlam. So I'm really happy about that. Match quality wise, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Um, I definitely don't think they'll put on a clink by any means, but I think they'll put on a pretty damn good match, or hopefully a good match. Uh, I don't know. It's Jinder Mahal, so you can't really expect anything that good. So, yeah, Nakamura challenging for the WWE title. That in itself is awesome. And then of course you have our big Fatal Four main event for the Universal Championship: Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, and Samoa Joe. And it just what sounds like a fucking awesome match. I'm really excited for this one. Of course, this is probably the match to see on the entire show. I think if there's one match anyone's looking forward to on SummerSlam, it's definitely by far the Fatal 4 uh, main event Universal title match. So I'm really excited for that. I think all four of them go there until the house down. Hopefully Brock Lesnar is involved in the match. He's not just there for five minutes. Lays out for you know 20 minutes. Gets, gets in the ring for the finish. So hopefully it's a well-rounded match with you know all competitors you know doing something, not just you know two guys going at it and then just them rotating in and out uh, between guys. I, I just hate when they do that. So hopefully it's a, a match where all of them are actually competing against one another. So uh, that's the card for SummerSlam. Like I said, you know, it should be a good, possibly great show. Um, even though they haven't really intrigued my interest, I'm excited, but I'm not excited. I don't know really how to describe it, but um, nothing rambling on. You guys click on this video for my predictions. That's what you guys are going to get. Kickoff SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. SmackDown Tag Team Champions, The New Day versus the Usos. As much as I want to see the Usos win the Tag Team titles back, I just don't see it happening. You know, they, they beat the New Day on SmackDown Live this past Tuesday. So, you know, with that being said, I think the New Day will look still SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Their matchup background is absolutely awesome. So, this match should be one of the better matches on the show if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I, I see New Day walking out still Tag Team Champions. I don't see them having a month title reign. So, uh, this is going to be great. I've been enjoying their feud and hopefully it's, it's, this match delivers. But uh, New Day to walk out still SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Kickoff WWE Cruiserweight Championship match. WWE Cruiserweight Champion Akira Tozawa versus Neville. I want to see Neville win the, uh, win the title back, but I don't see them having Tozawa the title for one week and losing it right away. It just doesn't make any sense for that. That is a WWE tactic to do, though, so it wouldn't surprise me. But I see Tozawa still walking out Cruiserweight Champion. Don't see him losing the title to Neville right now. So um, hopefully this match is good. You know, I haven't really cared for the Cruiserweight division, so hopefully this can, you know, deliver to be a fun match. But Tozawa is my pick to walk out still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Kickoff six man tag team match the Hardy Boys with Jason Jordan versus The Miz and The Miz Taraj. This match happened on Raw this past Monday, so I don't know why it's a rematch happening here. But since the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan won on Raw, I'm actually going to pick The Miz and The Miz Taraj for the victory here. Um, it wouldn't surprise me though if the Hardys and Jason Jordan get the win, but I feel like, you know, 50 50 booking, they, you know, Miz and Miz Taraj are going to win here, and then of course on Raw on Monday, they can probably have another rematch there. So um, hopefully there's a fun little six man tag, but uh, I'm going to go with the surprise pick with uh, The Miz and The Miz Taraj uh, picking up the victory against the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan. The Demon Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt just beat Finn Balor this past Monday on Raw, so obviously my pick here is me Finn Balor, and to me, Finn Balor should win this match anyway, especially if he's a demon. Bray Wyatt should not be the person to beat the demon, that's all I'm going to say. But, um, you know, I wasn't a fan of them doing the match on Raw, but since Finn Balor is a demon here, I, I feel like that's the purpose of setting that match up on Raw, so um, hopefully this match is just as good as the Raw Master match on Raw is pretty good if you ask me. But um, one way or another, I feel like the demon Finn Balor will overcome Bray Wyatt and defeat him in this match at SummerSlam. SmackDown Women's Championship match. SmackDown Women's Champion Naomi versus Natalya. Um, this match is kind of random, honestly. I still don't know why it's happening, but, you know, what can you do? Um, Naomi definitely is going to walk out still SmackDown Women's Champion. If you ask me, I don't think Natalya has any chance at all uh, in walking out, or as walking out, uh, the new SmackDown Women's Champion. It's possible that Carmella may cash in, but I think it's too predictable and I don't see it happening, honestly. Especially two cash in in one week. That's a little too much if you ask me. So, hopefully this is good, but I think Naomi still walked out SmackDown Women's Champion. Big Show versus Big Cass with Enzo and Morris suspended by the ring in the shark cage. Big Cass needs to win here. Big Show does not benefit at all by beating Big Cass. Um, maybe Enzo will drop something from the cage and hoping Big Show would take it, but Big Cass takes it and uses it against Big Show for himself, thus securing the win. I don't know how he'll do it, but I feel like, you know, Big Cass definitely gets a victory over Big Show here. Hopefully this match is decent. I'm not expecting anything that good from it. Uh, hopefully Enzo isn't too annoying. The shark cage above the ring, but what can you do? But, um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just hoping for a decent match with uh, Big Cass walking out the, uh, the winner. United States Championship match, United States Champion AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens with special goes free Shane McMahon. AJ Styles need to walk out, needs to walk out still the United States Champion. I'm tired of them flip-flopping the title, and honestly, this feud is the end by now. I'm just, I'm kind of over AJ Styles and Kevin Owens going at it, honestly. 
Uh, just have AJ Styles secure the championship victory, or to retain the championship. Uh, hopefully this match is great, and other matches have been disappointed, to be perfectly honest, but hopefully, except the SummerSlam, they can deliver fully and have an awesome match here. Um, I feel like Shane's pretty much there to set up a few, potentially Kevin Owens in the future. Uh, maybe Hell in a Cell will have a match there. I don't know, but I think uh, Shane being the referee is the sole purpose of setting a few with Kevin Owens. But um, yeah, AJ Styles is my pick to walk out still the United States champion. John Cena versus Baron Corbin. As much as Baron Corbin needs to get the victory against John Cena here, I don't see it happening. Uh, so I'm going to go with John Cena to defeat Baron Corbin. Hopefully it's a decent match or a good match. Their match on SmackDown Live, like, um, like you know, late last year was, it was a decent match, but they could do better. Uh, but hopefully they can do a better match here. I'm um, really rooting for Baron Corbin, but the route he's been going, it's hard, honestly, to say Baron Corbin's win here. So, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted how this match is going to go about. But one way or another, um, I think John Cena will find a way to uh, secure a victory over Baron Corbin at SummerSlam. Raw Women's Championship match. Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks. I'm really hoping Alexa Bliss walks out still champion here. Honestly, I don't want to see another Sasha Banks title reign. I'm just kind of over Sasha Banks as it is. Unless she turns heel, I have no interest in seeing Sasha Banks, to be perfectly honest. So hopefully Alexa Bliss walks out still champion here. Um, hopefully they just beat the shit out of each other. The match at uh, Great Balls of Fire was great. So I'm just looking at another great match between two of them here. And it uh, should be a good one overall. But uh, my pick is with fingers crossed that Alexa Bliss walks out still the Raw Women's Champion. Randy Orton versus Rusev, you know, this match can go either way, um, you know, Rusev needs a victory in my opinion, but Randy Orton, I just don't see him losing five straight pay-per-view matches in a row, so I'm going to go with Randy Orton to the win over Rusev here, even though I wouldn't be opposed to Rusev winning, like I said, he needs the victory, but like I said, I just don't see Randy Orton losing five pay-per-view matches in a row, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Randy Orton, I'm not sure how this match is going to go, you know, they haven't had a match before that I know of, so this is a fresh matchup to say the least, so I don't know, it can go either way, but uh, at the end of it, I think Randy Orton with the victory. Raw Tag Team Championship match, Raw Tag Team Champions Cesaro and Chance versus Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. You know, part of me wants to think that Ambrose is going to do the turn here, but honestly, I think they're going to milk it out a little bit. And to be honest, I'm going to go ahead and say Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose becomes, become the brand new Raw Tag Team Champions in this match. I feel like they'll become Tag Team Champions, have a nice little title reign for a little bit, and then of course that's when the turn happens. I just don't see them doing the turn right away. I think they'll milk it out for a little bit and have them run. And you know, them as Tag Team Champions, definitely beneficial to the Tag Team title scene too. You have two big main event stars as it's champion. So it's it's very beneficial. So hopefully this is a great match. I'm looking forward to it. Should be an awesome uh, match overall. But my pick, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, become the brand new Raw Tag Team Champions. WWE Championship match: WWE Champion Jinder Mahal versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm ready for the Ma modern day Maharaja's title reign to come to an end. So my pick here is that Shinsuke Nakamura will become the brand new WWE Champion. I feel like it's the right decision. You know, Nakamura has been a guy that's just been waiting to pull the trigger on. I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to do so. And, you know, to be honest, who's going to be throwing Jinder at this point? You know, Cena's going to the Raw, and there's really no one else for, you know, Jinder to face. So I feel like Nakamura is the right choice here. Hopefully it's a good match. I'm honestly not expecting a classic from these two, but um, hopefully it provides an epic moment at the end with Nakamura winning. So, yeah, should be good, hopefully. But my pick, Shinsuke Nakamura, become the brand new WWE Champion. And then the main event, Fatal 4 a match for the Universal Championship. The Universal Champion Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe versus Braun Strowman. To be perfectly honest, I wouldn't mind any four of these guys winning. But since the stipulation is that if Brock Lesnar loses, he leaves WWE, I don't see it happening, so I think that's making it fairly obvious that Brock Lesnar will walk out still the Universal Champion. Don't see him losing in this match. Would, would, would really like to see Samoa Joe get the title here. He should have won at Great Balls of Fire if you ask me. But, um, you know, I don't see it happening. I, I see Brock walking out still the Universal Champion. He'll probably pin Joe, to be perfectly honest, because I don't see him pinning Roman or Braun. So, um, this should be an awesome Fatal 4 match. This is by far the match to look forward to the most in the card. Uh, just four hosses, uh, four hosses going at it and delivering an, an amazing main event. So, I'm really looking forward to this match, but kind of end result, I do expect Brock Lesnar to beat all three of them and walk out still the Universal Champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed my WWE SummerSlam 2017 paper prediction. Like I said, SummerSlam is live on the WWE Network as well as paper tomorrow night. I'm excited, but I'm not excited. I don't know. The card looks good, but there's just they have nothing to intrigue my interest. There's two matches, maybe three I'm looking forward to. You know, I'm looking forward to the, the Universal title match. The Raw Tag Team title match I think will be really good as well. But, you know, everything else is kind of just there. They haven't really done anything to bulk up my interest and be excited for this show for the most part. So, I don't know. SummerSlam, I'm kind of just tossing my hands up and, you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm not really going to go into the show with any expectations um, because they haven't really given me a reason to go on the show with expectations. So, all I can hope for is for a good show. Um, tonight is still NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. Um, I'm not really excited for that show either. I know, you know, a lot of people are hyped for this show, but honestly, it just, you know, 
I just don't care for the show. You know, the, the, the two main matches, uh, the NXT title match, and of course the NXT women's title match, honestly, I just have no interest for whatsoever. I feel like the rest of the card is kind of like whatever. Uh, I'm not saying it'll be bad, but just, you know, I, they definitely could have done a lot better for this show uh, for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3, in my opinion. Uh, so that's why I'm not really too excited for it. But it'll, it'll still be a damn good show. You know, NXT, regardless of how it looks on paper, uh, for the most part, they always fully deliver. So uh, I'm not doubting the quality of the show, but I'm just not really looking forward to it. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a like below. Uh, leave you guys summer slime predictions in the comment section you guys like. And, uh, yeah, until my NXT TakeOver Brooklyn uh, 3 review tonight, I'll see you guys and thank you guys for watching the video.